The last song I wrote with Carvena Pakui was a poem that she wrote about a place she visited in 1958. And this, this material was shared to me by Ellie Williamson, who always went along with Carvena. She sent me this letter telling me if I could do the music to Carvena's visit to Kalau Papa on the island of Molokai. Funa were there to offer guidance. Thanks to these teachers, Eddie received valuable instruction and advice. But even more important was how they provided a direction for his journey. The first time Eddie sang the old songs, the voices of ancestors had seemed to rise from the earth. Now he almost seemed to have a sixth sense for a new song or discovery and had learned to stay alert and open to such a possibility. The day Eddie picked up and played an ukulele somebody had left behind on a bus, he began a journey. He didn't know where it would lead him, but like a steersman on a canoe following a distant star, he sensed his destiny was out there. <laughs> 